What's up guys and welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a beautiful day and we are going to be starting with a new form of a tournament again. So welcome, welcome, welcome. It seems like my headset just went for a flip. But yeah, welcome to the stream. We are going to be starting with Virtus Pro versus Permita. I think this is over. Give me a second. Virtus Pro Angels versus Pigeons? Yeah, no, no, it's Permita uh, WVU. Yeah, the first games were played already. It took me a little while to understand what's happening with the brackets at the moment, so I could actually trust the HLPV statistics. So it took a little while for the players to get on the server, but it seems like we finally got it sorted out. So Verdus Pro Angels are built out of Marco Aika Ayaka, Mio Amore, and Akianora. This is going to be awesome to cast because I have no idea how to really pronounce any of these names. So hopefully I'm not butchering them that bad. Uh, on Permita W, we have uh, Tinka, Gaba, Amub, Mrs. Fire. I think I'm just going to call her Fire. And Pavila or Pavla. Pavla. Hopefully I'm not butchering the names too hard. And by the way, if you hear me only saying Permita, this is the team that I'm talking about. So uh, I was watching their stats before we started off uh, with the stream over here. The issue is that they haven't played that many tournaments in total to have that many maps in HLTV. So most of the maps are pretty much 0% at the moment. But looking at as they did go with the Nuke and Ancient pick, from the side of Virtus Pro Angels, they do have some statistics on Ancient. Some maps being played on Nuke, Nuke I think it's one entirely. On Ancient, they have a 67% of a win rate with three maps, of course. So they have one, two, lost one. Meanwhile, on Anubis, it seems to be a pretty much a one-mapper for both of the teams, and I think it's a win and a loss, if I remember correctly. Let me actually open up the board over here. So it's a loss for both of them, actually. So it's going to be interesting. I have no idea how they're going to play, because the problem is they barely have any stats to talk about. But here we are. <laughs> here we are. Okay, uh, brother looks good on pink lighting. Thank you, dude. I had to go with the team. So, welcome to the channel. Hopefully you're having a good time. And here we are with a new league. And it went with some... Yeah, webcams. We even have a Finnish player on the server. That's awesome. From the back vents of the CTs. That's just going to be a headshot coming in at the start. Amore barely can find another. Actually goes off with a 2-1. That's going to be a nice way to start off defending that A-side. Quick kills coming back from the side of Permita. To keep the numbers straight. They still have this under their books. Now the only thing I'm thinking about at the moment as they drop the vents. They're gonna go for the B-side plant here. Already the bomb is ticking and the retake is very close. It's gotta be Ayaka with the first shot. Takes a couple of bullets, but the second one actually lands as well. Tinka goes down and Pavla has been left alone. We go against three. That's gotta be the first one that we are going to be needing in front of the silo. Can't just get the last kill there, but it comes very close on that round. So, the bomb will be defused. And with a very quick retake. They get it under their control. This is the first season as well. Kind of cool that we're expanding in a way. I'm looking at this, Virtus Pro Angels starting off with a very nice round here. Defense coming in from the CT side events seems to be working out pretty well as well. Now, can they do it again? That's the question. Fire will be leading outside with that MAC-10. They're still going to go, of course, with the buy. After that plant, they got just a little bit of money to spend and play with. And knowing that the CT economy hasn't developed yet, this is going to be the perfect time to gain a round now. It's going to be a slow one. Permita, they feel no pressure pushing anywhere. Except the secret. Smokes outside already. Gaba will be the one to maintain the lurk. That's going to be Mio. Only if she goes for the spam behind that smoke, that could work out pretty well. But the problem is she doesn't really want to lose the position with that weapon. Now we're going to be seeing the uh, rest of Permita fun map today. Because they're going to be the first fights coming in for the double door area. Mio goes out with the double kill. That uh, she just doesn't go out at all. Just gains the double kill. Pretty much still a lot of HP to play around with. 
Gaba. Now they're starting to... A bit of a question to form here. How can you win the rest of the round losing two players like that from the main Gaba? Finding with the Catwalk and Heaven just can't come out with anything. That's going to be Pavlov at least with the double kill. Goes for the plant, but the problem is Mariko misses most of the shots on that open position. And Pavla sticks to ground. Not a lot of health to play with, but Akianora will be the main problem coming in for the half of that man P9, and that is going to be it. Virtus Pro Angels already with a couple of rounds, and the problem here is starting to emerge that there seems to be a little bit of a gap in some of those plays. They did get to both of those sites on the first and the second round. So in a way, the problem isn't a plant, really. Of course, they didn't plant the bomb for this round. That's going to affect the economy a lot. They're still deciding to go for some kind of a buy. This is pretty much just going to be pistols and armors. Just a couple of utilities to try to get towards that secret area. And to test how their defense is going to be working out. Virtus Pro Angels literally giving them the free pass and their steps are going to be heard. Now it's going to be on Ayaka. How many kills can she take before she goes down? That's going to be the first challenge. Does a little bit of damage towards Tinka as well. But meanwhile, from the ramp, doesn't matter that she goes down. The quick rotation comes in. And even Nate behind the silo does a lot of damage towards Tinka. And here... Still trying to fight on. A lucky tap, but more is needed. Gaba from the single door. That's the bomb. Could rotate towards the upper side. But the problem is, more at the perfect position to stop it. And Virtus Pro Angels. Seems like they have the majority of the control here on Nuke. Problem here is... Ayaka, even if she goes down only with that one kill, the rotation was very quick. So maybe some kind of a fake in the future could work. If they keep biting. We'll see. Again, quick steps. The M4 doesn't really land the first bullet, so that's going to be Amip. A bad shot to start off the round. A good entry, too. Mio from the single floor trying to hold this down the stairs. Oh, she's getting bombarded at the moment with every single utility there is. Even the rest of the team is already being called out over here. And that is going to be fire to step in with the second push. If Mio steps into this fight. Oh, those crosshairs. Not really fun in the head yet, but it doesn't matter. Still, Nora. Top the catwalk. Wayne from the single door, a double kill coming in from Mio. That is going to be an amazing hole. But from the window, they're just going to explode in and get their respectable kills. Three goes for the side of Hermita. They get the bomb down. It's going to be a one versus three reset coming in right now. Ayaka spawning off the first player. Just a little bit late on that groove already. Most of the side of Hermita getting into a very good, comfortable positions. So. The retakes will be called off, and she will just go for the save of that M4. And Permita, well, looking at the fact that it's the fourth round and already the game won. They're into a very good spot here to maybe gain some more rounds. Even Permita and chat, hello, hello. Let's go! Alright, a timeout will be taken immediately. Maybe something that they need to talk about on the boat side. All we need is some cash for guns. <laughs> Alright. Wait a minute, I didn't notice this before when I was looking at the teams. Was Amy finish? Here's the game. I think so. I thought I saw a finish flag. Yeah, look at that. Well, well, well.
All right. I like how Akinora only has a picture. <laughs> so, a little bit of a longer time out, it seems. I'm not entirely sure what happened on the server. Maybe some kind of a technical problem. Okay, seems like we're back. We're good. Welcome back, everybody. So, until we spam outside. Basically, what's been happening on Nuke since it's been brought back to the pool. And it's going to be Margo to test the smokes. Anybody who wants to go through them has to matrix those bullets. And it's going to be a nice catch to the smoke. Well, actually, behind it, Margo tries to edge it, but Mrs. Fire comes true at the perfect timing. So this could flip off the enemy team. That's gotta be a nice kill for her. Doesn't go for the second one, so Mio. That's the quick trade here. As soon as that first frag comes in, she was in a perfect positioning, waiting in heaven for something like that to happen. Hope out her teammate, Mio, which coming in from the ram, the double peak works out at the perfect timing as well. Gaba takes down Akinora. And the Molta four. A little way there to make sure that they're not gonna get the quick rotation. You know, they are Ayaka just waiting for the teams to push from that angle. Catches the first player. That's gonna be Gabba to be taken down. Meanwhile, Khalil does an amazing work from the backside of that silo. That nade does a lot of damage. The problem is they don't have a lot to play with. But it's gonna be an off at the first perfect timing. Ayaka just hits that shot. And that is going to be a two versus one and ten HP. For Tinka, she has to be very careful here, especially with the push coming in from the double door. And Mio, from the control room, sneaks in as her teammate is faking the defuse. And that works perfectly for the retake. The problem is the CT side isn't really saving that many weapons for our next rounds now. So, that might impact the economy somewhere down the line just a little bit later. At the moment, it's okay, though. As long as they keep ripping those rounds, that's more than enough. Look at this one. Nice catch from that Galil. Quick shot coming in from the op as well. Spots the player, make sure that she's not going to press the trigger, uh, trigger at all. Trigger at all. I seem to have some kind of speech impeachment right now. All right. I'm not entirely sure if my microphone is way too down. Let me try to adjust it just a little bit. I think now it's a little bit better. Okay. I think I touched the knob a little bit later today. Earlier. My bad. And here it is just a little bit better at the moment. Okay, just a bit down. <laughs> here it is. Off camera, Ayaka finds the first shot on the Amy. The Finnish player goes down, but no and Perfect positioning to catch one with that MP9. The crossfire works to perfection. Mio. Takes down Kaba as well. That's gonna be Tinka with the only kill on the T side so far. And Tinka. Trying to at least find a bomb to get the control of it. And me. Hit it. Nice shot coming in from Tinka. MR. It's cut off just a little bit there. But from heaven, they already have a player posting with the A-Pack. Just be careful. And walking, running with the back turned against her. Is going to lead to that. I'm gonna bat a couple of frags there at the end. But to win a round, more was needed. A lot of speech coming in from Gabba. Not entirely sure what kind of a calls we're getting here. What could be the issues, what they're fixing at the moment. Already winning that one round. Works out very well for them. Alright. That didn't take too long. It was a technical timeout, it seems like. And Virtus Pro Angels. 5 to 1. 4 rounds lead. For 
the legendary org. And maybe a new legendary org. If they keep playing like this in the future as well. Spot of the player on the gun. A little bit damage to be done. Tinker catches off Neo. Not a bad kill at all with that Mac 10 Neo while behind the box is here on towards Ramp. Oh, Nora actually gets only away with one, but that's gonna be Kaba. Those tech nines still raining in. And the Mac 10s will be the ones to lead the way now. They could go for the plant. Full push coming in from the side of Secret. They actually spotted three players here, but the problem is Amy turns her back against the rest of the players, just gets hosed down with that AK. That's a little bit of a problem there already. Peak coming in from the main, and that is going to be Tinka leading the charge from the Secret at the moment. The only lurker that they have left, and to be honest, in a very good position as well. Could catch at least the player. As long as he stays alive, that's going to be enough. That's going to be the player's frag. Oh, no, it's not. Barely gets away. But Gabba will be the one to take both of those. That is three kills for a round like this. And it seems like the timeout worked out for them so well. AK will be the only weapon left alive here. Ayaka trying to do her best to try to hold it for our next round, I guess. First one catches the second one as well, but it's going to be the bomb blast radius to take care of her. And that's a done round. Not a bad way to win a round there. Especially after the first flunk from Amy. It's going to be the backstab that worked out very well. Even if she didn't get the kill, it stops the retake just enough for Gabba to peek outside to get that double. we go. P2000 with Rafiti Colors here, I guess. And we're just waiting for maybe a Zeus kill. Margo very close to that smoke. Gives enough passway for fire to get through. Not sure. They went very close to each other. Both of the players pushed out the smoke with perfect timing. It's going to be the Zeus to come out with a kill. Ayaka does grab one, but it's not going to be enough. Tinka with Amy. Putting up the rest of the sides. Meanwhile, AMR is going to be dropping Amy. That's at least an AK drop somewhere. Nice frag for them. And even a Heaven will be pushed out. That's going to be main from Margo. Trying to challenge, maybe get a lucky tap here. The weapon would be the best outcome for a round like this. A nice tap to the face, but it's, it's a lot. Doesn't really do enough damage from that area. On top of the side, already a player jumped down with an AK. That's going to be an AK Anora. On the back lines, her teammates will be taken down, but it's just going to be a little bit of a sloppy spray. And she's not going to get absolutely anything else. It gets a little bit hectic at the end. Permit that they lose three players in a round like this. Of course, the Zeus is going to be the known way to lose a weapon. Look at this. The best opportunity to win a round right there. Of course, they didn't have hits. I don't think even if she gets that double, she had enough time. But a bit of an emotional victory. Nice name to the door to open it up. It's just going to be some utility spans. We haven't really seen a rush yet. In a respectable manner. Especially against weaponry. So the slow style of play. We're working so far. That's going to be AMR. With that name to take a beautiful peek. At the same time, Neo steps into that fight as well. On the main. It's going to be fire to find out Mio. But most of these kills are working out for the way of the CTs at the moment. Ayaka, even catching one, that's gotta be Morgo with the last one. The burn takes take care of AMR. So they do lose two weapons, but at the end of the day, they can buy in easily for a round like this. And Permita. At the moment, it seems to be that they either win a round entirely or they get just destroyed entirely. But three rounds on the board. 
Especially looking at the situation at the moment, it's not that bad. There's still a couple of rounds to be played for, true to be exact. Yep, catch a couple of, a couple of them. Uh, it's going to be enough. Smokes looming outside. I think there was a failed smoke as well. Yeah, on top of the main there. Or no, that might be intentional, if I understood correctly. Make sure that nobody's going to be seeing anything outside of that main. Margo behind the smokes here. Waiting for them to bloom. If they fit off at the perfect timing. But they get into that secret before that happens. That's going to be Tianka. Waiting for... Anybody to try to get some information. Meanwhile, Ayaka doesn't hit the first shot. Gets chased out of that control room. And Virtus Pro Angels. Most of the players starting to rotate lower side now. And with that up on a very interesting spot. She kind of has to hit most of the shots right now, but it's going to be Margo coming in with the backstab. Finds out the first player, even the second one easily. From the single door. And it's going to be Mr. Fire with the perfect timing on Mia and Amy. Just runs in from control room to get that last frag. That's going to be Tinka on the longest lurk we've seen in a while. And the spray down works out perfectly. Nora, it's taken down. And like I said, Ayaka left in a situation with that arm. Because he literally has to hit every shot. But Tinka, a straight pull it to the face. And it's going to be enough. And a more. A 1v3. Does she want to even go for it? The bomb just being planted. So if she gets a quick kill here. Anything is possible. She has a lot of time to play now. That's going to be 30 seconds. To go for three different uh, different duels. I think two of the players are posted at the same spot at the moment. But it seems like that was enough. She will be leaving the site. And trying to save that M4. Maybe if she finds an AK. There was an AK. On those double doors. Doesn't want to really go for it. The op is just a little bit too deep. A weapon that she can't get. One more round on the board for, for the side of Permita. And still two to be played for. At the end of the day, even a uh, tie here at the first half is still possible. Another timeout coming in. Good time for the angels to talk uh, to talk about it. What's been going wrong? What can they fix? It seems like secret has been the direction that they have been pressuring so far. Some of the fights coming at the start of the game from, uh, I think it was from Maine, have been winning some of the duels. But I think main, uh, the majority of the problems comes in that they have a lot of space, out, uh, space outside. We have seen a round that they have won towards that A side as well, or at least brought it very close with the main push. So they need a little bit more damage from those outside smokes when they land. Look again. Now around like this. Is her fire? And Amy already on the lower side. Through the vents, she goes. Ayaka. Oh, I don't like the fact that she has a knife on her hands, but a tap to the face is going to be enough. That 5-7 is accurate. A bullet to the dome and a weapon being brought up. Not a bad way to start off the round. And an AK as well. Four versus five. With an exceptional spot here. They lose the control immediately. Ayaka on top of a side's catwalk, waiting for a rush. Meanwhile, Permita, it seems like outside seems to be the right option again. Without smokes this time around, it's going to just be a nade jugged behind that CT box. It's a utility to make sure that nobody's going to be raising from that secret the worst possible time. A little bit of a deeper smoke there to cover it up, but there's a little bit of a gap. Oh, they have it. 
Pinka catch his first shot. That is going to be Mio. At least gets one against Gabba, but that's going to be Pavla. But Ayaka from on top of the catwalk with that AK gets caught off. Tinka with a tap to the face. And some nice kills coming in from the side of Verger's Pro Angels. They hold it down. Without that many problems, but it's going to be this one tap to the face. I think that was pretty much the lock for the round there. But even when we have the lower or the worst weapons, we still got this. Premature stop for that spray. Pretty much happens to me every time I play CS. Some nice defense coming in from the side of Earth's approach. Just remember they started off that round with three pistols. Hermito. Well, they're gonna try one without SMG. That MAC-10 is pretty much just a bean. Through the smoke. Perfect timing for a spray right there. Akinora. Akia Nora. Go for the timing there, but no, it's not gonna work out. Amy swings outside, catches her. Already the majority of the fights going to the way of Permita. Some damage has been done to both of the players here. They have the uh, woman advantage, if you want to call it that. From the controller room, that's gonna be me. Hold it down, goes for the spray. Her teammate is just shooting her at the back. Margo gets only one. That's gonna be Gaps with the double kill. And I am more from the single door. A lot of space still for the side of Virgus Pro Angels, but it's been left to the hands of one player. Ayaka from the back line gets one. That is going to be a beautiful shot coming in. And to make it a one versus or a temporary two versus two, the problem is Tinka. Very quick on that reaction. And Amore, does she know that there's a player behind her on that smoke? Tap, or a, a couple of taps. And that's around right there. Permita. They do come around this first half. Swinging. Thinking about the fast, uh, fact that they lost the pistol. They lost the buy round after that. And even the force or the eco buy after that. So three rounds in a row. To win five doesn't look that bad at all. Some good moments from Murder's Pro Angels as well. Now more to the question that can they keep this up? So far, they have done a very good job. Let me open up the window just a little bit more to get some more air on this room. Oh. oh, welcome, spring air. Love you. We are waiting for the round to start. It's going to be the pistol round for the second half here. And here we go. So, swapping around, and here we go with the first pistol over the second pistol. Now I just want to see. How is this going to work out? Very slow round. The CT swap places with the T side here. Not a bad way to start it off, I guess. And finally, the push coming in towards the lower side. This should be enough signal for the side of uh, Permita. The majority of the players are on the lower side here and behind a dark. Actually, Amy finds a good space, but the problem is that British Pro, it seems like they're bamboozling the whole side from the side of Permita. Going back up from the secret. 
And just look at the stack coming in from the ramp as well. Every single player, there's only a player, a more, will be the only one to get some kind of information, maybe. Nobody's here to challenge her. A nice tap from the heaven as well. That's just gonna be fire. They take a bullet to the dome. Margo finds the second one. And Virtus Pro Angels. Like agents outside. They have every single spot. Ayaka doesn't really spot the vents from here. But Amy is just ready for the timing to swing in. It's going to be from the main. Even Margo still holds down the line. Oh, this is just going to be a blender. It's going to be a very hard round for the side of Permitter to win this. A 1v5 required, and Tinka only gets one. Virtus Pro Angels with a perfect round. Only losing a player. Not bad at all. A couple of control sh uh, shots coming in from that lock as well. I guess the clock, you don't want to crouch. So. Smoke if anybody wants to go for the molly. Also to cap off the push here towards the red. And it's just going to be the side of Permira not going for a single upgrade except for that P250. I think that's a P2000. That's a 5.7. It's the only weapon that they go for. Not a... Uh, Single Kevlar has been bought up. Knife in hands again. Any of the players wanting to jump in from that window? That could be a thousand bucks right there. Behind the smoke, Pavlo. Anybody who wants to go through it. That P2000 is a capable weapon at that range. Mio. Already getting some info here. Be a lot for them. The double dink coming in. Oh, wait a minute. It's just a dink, but the second shot's coming in towards the body. So, Gabba. That's just a nice shot and could have picked up that weapon, but Marco, very good on that trigger. Gets the second kill in the round. Pavla starting to push in towards that. Wiki does get a bit of attack there. Nora chased out that USP finds a kill. At least the weapon has been brought up, but a Molotov will. Clear the single door. So squeaky is no use at the moment. Bomb will be planned. And Permita. Left behind the walls. A couple of shots coming in through. Wait a minute. Why are you chilling in your hands on the worst possible timing? Oh, fire actually gets another kill there. AMR. A little bit of a mistake. Behind the boxes. And Yanka still has to fight. And Khalil springs into action. And that is pretty much going to be the round there. So the last player is just trying to save that weapon for the next round. Got a little on the CT side, not a bad weapon. And kaboom. Terrorists win. And off to a new round we go. This shot was pretty cool. I'm not entirely even sure. You just saw a pixel change behind that corpse. Tap to the face. Works out well. All on top outside. Haven't really seen a quick rush in a round. Here on Nuke for a while. Neo. Already outside control behind the main here. And it's going to be her to make sure that nobody's holding the heaven angle. Clears out the secret as well. There will be a little bit of a problem in front of her. In about a second level, actually. Hits the first shot, but it's going to be Akinora to get the quick trade. It damaged a lot. Amor and Akinora. Both of them in fairly low at this point. It's going to be Amy to catch Margo. Nakianora pushing in with the double door, spotting out the player, but fire just positioning into a little bit of a better spot there. And AMR does catch her off. It's going to be a two versus two on that retake. And Permita getting into a very good spot here. Both of the players bring out with HP from the catwalk. Drops down AMR. Nobody's here to swing or even take the fight back. So 
That leaves them with a question. Where is the last player playing from? Oh, the couple of shots actually misses. And Ayaka springs into action, but doesn't really land the last bullet. 8 HP for Gabi. Or sorry, Gaba. And Permina, they win that round, but they literally just only save one weapon. That's very expensive here. Especially at the end. Look at this one. The right idea. Just didn't really commit to the push there. Oh, I see the deleted, deleted messages. <laughs> what is that? And off to a new one we go. Until it's time to worst that. Vents here. Max Ten will be the one to lead the way. Nice catch on top of that hut there. That is going to be a second kill towards the A side as well. Gabba Pavla. They will be the ones to hold it down as much as they can. Quick pop flash towards the site. Again, or will be pushed away from that hut. And the man advantage goes for the side of Permita. Or should I say the girl advantage? And it's going to be Amy. Asking off with a long spray. Doesn't actually get that kill. It gets traded quickly. All right, a little bit off on that spray. Does a little bit damage. Mio doesn't have a lot to play with. Both of the players fully HP to the brim again. Akia Nora comes out with the first kill in this round. And oh, she shows her cards, gets the first kill as well, Pavla. Full HP, second pop flash coming in. That FAMAS is the only thing she has. Could go for the swap before that M4. Mio doesn't have a lot to play with. Three kills in a round like this already. Could go for the plan. That's exactly what's about to happen. A quad is needed to win this. Been Being spotted out from the right side of that. Silo. And a nice clutch. Permita winning another round. Not a bad round at all. Round at all. Now again, how many rounds can they change? Seven to nine. In a way, Virtus Pro very close to that ten line. I'm looking at the economy from the side of Permita. They literally just have to win a round to break that economy. Okay, free aim spots, pretty much on point at this point. That's going to be Tinker behind Box still holding. But if you want to go for it, the first kill comes out. Permita coming out with you. I can't more just go to one but from the back lines. Oh, AMR just pushes through it. I'm not entirely sure if the information went through, but a nice outside kill coming in from AMR as well. But her teammates already lost. It's left alone. gets one of them that's a very nice kill as well that m4 accurate as always and with that bomb she's gonna go for the lower bomb has been planted. backside plant from it but an mp9 reacts and most of these rounds were inside of permita coming very close to a player That shot. This was the one that I believed. Didn't happen, but I believed for a little second. Well, off the new round we go, and this time they actually have a full buy. AKs across the borders. Uh, border, enough utility to go pretty much for every execute they feel like. 
Do they have enough smokes? Actually, just the smoke. I read that wrong. They only have a smoke for a round like this. One smoke to the main. It's going to be enough. It's going to be the burn and the flash. These guys are going to be the one to leap out the round. Look at that burn. Fire. Well, literally on fire for the majority of the life of that Molotov. More. Not feeling the reason to go in quite just yet. That flash is going to be perfect. The swing coming outside the hut. It's going to be Amor and Margo to come out with their kills. Fire gets one. Pavla with a double kill here to try to keep the numbers alive. A double. Atinka even gets one more. The problem is, again, Virtus Pro Angels, they have been left in a one versus two. And this keeps happening again and again and again in these rounds. And at some point, it has to give. On the off section, a little bit of a sloppy spray. Does get the kill, finally. And Pavla. A queen on that A side. Been working out so well for her. See the replay right here. So the execution isn't the problem. Most of the players fully flashed when they pushed in. Very close on some of these rounds. But it keeps falling to the side of Permita. And well, that's the only thing they need. As long as they get this up. It's going to be the round for them, but nice catch from this backside of that. That's going to be the second kill coming in from the Tech Nines from the Vents Ayaka. Reading out the push coming in from the CT so well. Amib, this round started off with 20 seconds to lose three players. At least one will be brought back. Look at the push coming in from the backside of that main. Margo reading out Amy's movement so well at this point. The finished player now really going inside towards that A side. They know. Right now, that's somewhere outside, so A side is lost. Gaba still from the control room. The bomb towards the B side. The only thing they pretty much here need is just that one kill to bring it back to true versus true. That's exactly what's about to happen and more. It takes just a little bit too long for them to react on a round like this, waiting out for that lurk. Just doesn't work out. Amib. On top of heaven. So Gabba is basically alone here. Against these two players. They might actually make a little bit of a mistake here. Reading out the round. And pushing towards the heaven. That's exactly what's about to happen. No, it's not working out. Again. Another one versus two. This time it's going to be a more. Lift into a clutch roll here. The bomb will be planted behind the silo. But Gabba. Waiting for her to make a mistake here. After the face, left side of that ramp will be cleared out. Gabba on top of the catwalk. More reading it out so well. And finally, they win a clutch. Here it is. Clutch potential comes out. And Permita, I think that was four rounds that they won before. Look at this tech shot. Right there behind a the box. Some Matrix bullets, uh, bullets coming in. Maybe we're uh, breaking some... Physical boundaries over here. Look at this. Trying to jug a nade behind the silo. Gets caught off. AMR. He took a little bit too long for her, uh, her to throw it. Bit of a slower round. This is exactly what happened. Even most of those rounds coming very close. But still winning them. From Virtus Pro Angels, it only needed one to break their economy. Mac MP9s across the table. Machine pistols. And a 5.7 with a Deagle. An alert coming in from outside. This takes way too long for them to activate throughout the sites. This has been a little bit of an issue. Meanwhile, the Lurk will be catching one of the players. Adapt to the back of the head. Amib didn't go for the knife. I'm a little bit hustled here. So, a Molotov for the right side of that door. And the bomb can finally be planted. 40 seconds left on the clock. But it's going to be reset. 40 to start off. They have exactly that much to go for the retake here. 
the shots coming in for Margo. Through the small flank, one even the spectrum one towards the lower side of it. And Mio, well, the blender is working so well. Cross fires across the board easily. Taken down by the side of Virtus Pro Angels and now winning two rounds in a row. That's going to shake the foundation from Permida just a bit. Already doing so much to get so close. Now it seems like it needs just a little bit more from them. Spending most of their economy for SMGs here. They are going to be left with nothing. E250s. P2000s. Actually, that's just a, I think that's just one P2000. Every single... Everybody else has a P250. Okay. We might actually see a couple of taps here. Quick push coming in from the ramp. The nade just doesn't work out, but AMR still catches the head. Gaba. Drop, then squared with. Second player. Precision coming in for Margo. Didn't even leave the T-spawn yet. <laughs> Okay. Intelligent, I guess. And the only P2000 will be trying to hold down the main. We haven't really seen most of the ops come into play in the, on this map. Very quiet. On the wrong, uh, longer sniper. AK. Another headshot coming in for AMR. This is supposed to be around the uh, Virtus Pro. Win pretty easily. I was waiting for them to maybe lose a couple of players here. I'm all done with that work. Gets the opportunity to shoot a player on the side to the back. It doesn't really connect the shots. Quick defense coming in from her teammate. And here we are on round number 22. Permita, three rounds away. From bringing this to an overtime, but Virtus Pro, they already have their map point. This is Permita's own map pick as well. And off we go. Utility dump. Even a nade. Could do some damage here. Not really. Mio. That quick movement gets behind that main. Works out perfectly for her. She has been pretty much getting to that same spot every single time. Nobody's really challenging it. On top of the red, the challenge, the secret. That's just going to be a tap coming in from 80. Nice shot. From secret to drop down like Yamura. Good way to start off the round. A first defending kill. Look at some of those stickers. Oh, these weapons are pretty cool. Pavla. And just gets very sunned on the server. Virtus Pro Angels. Maybe going for a new push here. Margo. The one deleted towards the main gets the first shot as well. He gets a little bit sloppy, but Gabba does get the kill towards the main. The quick tray coming in from it as well. That's going to be fire to stay alive behind the silos. And the two versus three, they're still alive here. To try to play for the next round. They need it. Oh, a lot of shots coming out. That's going to be a more with the first one. I could have seen the clutch there, but no. Mr. Fire stays alive with 13 HP. That's the last kill as well. And Permita, they get the double digits. So, it's getting, it's starting to look a little bit better. There's still a couple of rounds away, and Virtus Pro, they can still buy in for the last two rounds here. That's definitely not going to be the problem. Now it's more about coming up quickly. This time around, Amy, oh, she uh, read it for the last round. So many times we have been getting that free access towards the back of that main. Quick trades coming in, or uh, quick duels at this start. Working out for the Finnish player as well. Now can they get this up? Nice, another shot from that FAMAS. 
Some good fights coming in. He's actually got called for the ramp to to hold it down, but Akianora just waiting for Amy to swing. That nade is going to do a lot of damage. Almost takes out Tinka. Somehow she still stays alive. That was a pretty perfect nade right there. Tinko with 20 HP pushing on towards the ramp. Gabba from the back lines drops down AMR. That's gonna be a quick trade from Ekianora. And the two versus three. We have seen these numbers so many times again and again and again. Pablo on top of the heaven. Catches Ekianora on that hold. And Ayaka could go for the plant here. But the problem is that the push coming in from the squeaky already in front of her. Permita. They bring it to an 11 just around away. From a tie. Just a round away from a tie. All right. One we go. Ability from heaven. Now I'm a little bit interested on what kind of a setup are they going to go for. Most of the place has been used. It's going to be the Molotov on top of the hut. Flash is coming in from Mayo as well to push her teammates in. Utility from the squeaky at the same time and hot so every single spot is going to be flashed outside on the full push coming in I'm not entirely sure if there's a player on top of the catwalk and fire he does get the first shot But they need their teammates to get in there Nice kill coming in and through the smoke Amy, if she tries to go for the play that could be the end of her But another two versus two, uh, two again from the back line they push in from the ramp and Ayaka has a very good spot here Bombla will be taken down first Inca it goes for the second swing and very low HP at the moment. Margo, 26 points. Oh, sorry, 19 health. No point to be left to play with. And with the knife on her hand again. Oh, that's starting to weird me out every time I see something like that. Three kills on this round already. Just needs one more. And spots out the first player. Oh, it gets a little bit sloppy. Virtus Pro, they come so close on winning that round. Most of the stuff that they're doing at the moment seems to be working. The problem is that Virtus uh, Permita, they kept pushing at the perfect timing. We saw that push coming outside from Amy. Mao. Mio, sorry. From behind of that main. Oh, every single time uh, pushed behind that smoke. Perfect spot for them to go for whatever secret push or a side push they decided to go for. Uh, I think it was Amy. Pushing there before she got that spot. This time around, in between that execute towards that A side, Permita decided to just push from ramp. And it seemed to catch off the whole rotation at the same time, so worked out well. Not bad at all. All right, off the new round. Utility is being dropped all across. Just in the smokes here, Gabba. Does hit the player, doesn't really spot the player through the little gap that it leaves. Amy on the other side, everybody. The first one and the second one almost gets caught off there, but no. A double kill for her. Repositions entirely. You have to Red there. Doesn't read the player from the lurk. A nice shot from Marco to at least bring a player for them. Amy 
Still waiting from the warehouse here. Anybody who wants to make a mistake, she could catch them off the perfect timing. I mean, they've been left on the board to play around with. And Virtus Pro Angels, they still have that direct line towards the lower side. And nobody's really rotated towards the side yet. They have a lot of control here. That's an interesting call coming in from the side of Permita. Maybe it's going to be the retake together. Finally, Pavla seems to be rotating towards the site to at least hold some of it. Connector room being spotted at the start. Neither of the players spotting out anything. Quick shot coming in from her. It's so quick that we don't even hear the sound. Smoke at the site. They could go for the plan right here. And through the smoke. Oh, a nice spray coming in from maybe a triple kill on that round as well. And Mar will be taken down. And Margo left as the sole player. Not even time for the plant. Has to go for the save. Well played. Thirteen on the board. Virtus Pro. Some couple of good ideas here. But got cut off at the worst timing possible a little bit unfortunate lock push through the vents not working out Amy reads that one catches her before he even gets uh, she gets close to that vent a good way to start off the round here Gets a little bit stagnated right now. Both of the teams just pretty much waiting for the other one to make some kind of a move here. But it's not going to happen. On the T side, to really need to start pressuring the CTs a little bit more. Bob was popped out the first player. Nice peek coming in. That's a little bit damaged. Let's catch the headshot. The problem is with that goal, the kill. And that was an AK. I think they grazed something then. Tinka and Amy on that defense. They both get a kill. And the problem is, most of the players that they have challenged against Permita, well, they have only done a little bit damage towards them. So, a round like this needs a lot from the side of Virtus Pro Angels, especially from the last two players. They have to go absolutely ballistic to win this one. There might be just a little bit of a spot. There's a player on top of Catwalk at the moment, and one behind the CT vent. If they know how to challenge this at the same time, they do win as one of the two versus three. The problem is it gets a little bit floppy. They do get the kill on top of the catwalk too, but Margo with one HP. I don't think it's going to be enough. Behind a silo has to go for a quick shot here. Oh! <laughs> that gets close. A point of health left for Tinka, and even she gets a little bit surprised that she's still alive. Okay, okay. Teddy Bear just watching the screen at the moment. Just in awe. Of. All right. Virtus Pro has been shut down from the rest of these rounds. It seems like we're getting uh, some kind of a form from this side of Permita right now. Starting to look better and better by the round. Until they have to start. Quickly to make sure. I think that is for the main here. Yep, for the cross there. Environment, make sure anybody who wants to hold it close to that door is going to be naded out. Akianora, be the one to go for the first tap. Doesn't really catch it though. Nade screws the vision just a little bit. Definitely a little bit damaged too. Oh, it comes out with a kill. First shot doesn't really land the target, but it's going to be the quick burst. To catch out Amy. A first nice kill for the side of Virtus Pro Angels. Another kill coming in for AMR. The push coming in towards the lobby as well. And more just reads it out so well at the moment. Inka. From the ramp with her teammate, Pavla. Well, it seems like the script has been turned around as it's going to be two versus five from the other side. 
Akia Noram catches out the first player quickly. Makes this a 1 versus 5. A ridiculous clutch in top one to win this one. Doesn't really even get a chance with that op. And it's done. Not a bad round at all. Finally at least something. One out of the three rounds where this pro they finally catch one. All right. Off to any one we go, I guess. A bit of a timeout first for them to talk about what's happening. Already an hour on Nuke. We're getting uh, everything out of this duo right now. Can hear the counter go down. Not a single coach in server, I see. All right. Let's see if either of the sides can keep it up. So, on the T side, we saw some problems from both teams. We had some nice rounds in a way, too. But then it's going to be the starting strats that didn't really work out. Grenade there. Warns the players. Doesn't really catch any of them. And Permita, they're just going to go for a ramp push. That nade got to be basically almost perfect. I'm not entirely sure how it did do more damage. I can't aura. It's towards the lower side. That is going to be the outside play being dispersed entirely to give them a little bit more space to work with. If they want to go for the ramp push or even towards heaven for this pro, they're going to be having just a little bit of a different style of uh, defense here from the site. It seems to be Margo. On top of the hot here, just waiting for the push coming in from the squeak. I think the second player is holding behind this uh, silo. Utility being dropped in for the main Amip with the lurk just a little bit too late. Ayaka can do a lot of damage. There's the player drops the lurker. It's going to be a very good round. Now they can focus fully on the hot and the squeak. With a little bit of a mistake coming in from the side, even the second kill for fire. Entries to side, Pavla drops down Ayaka. This is going to be a perfect round for the side of Permita. Even if they lose the Lurk, they still get everything they wanted. And a more. While they're starting to push in, that's going to be Pavlov from the single door to hold down the lobby. If she gets beginning and timing here, of course she doesn't. Just a shot to the body. Nice one too. Pavlov comes out with both three kills on this round, both at the end. And not a bad way to end it. Good job. A very good job. Look at that. Look at these kills coming in. Just having the understanding to... Of course, for the last kill to understand it. But holds on the lurker as well. Now as long as we can keep it up. Ayaka tries to time out the kill towards the lobby. It's a little bit off the marker, but the idea is correct. 
just smoke Mark. I'll make sure that Amip is barely gonna get it with one HP stays alive. I'm not entirely sure how she's still alive there. But drop uh, Nade is going to be giving her just a little bit of information. Absolutely anything that hits Amy on this round is going to be the end of her. Meanwhile, Margot, still from Warehouse, just wants to keep the pressure. Permita, if they want to get towards that secret, they kind of have to lose at least the player here. Meanwhile, Permita, well, they're kind of stumped here. No problem to wait. They know they have the map point underneath their belts. So to play a little bit time won't be a mistake this time around. To keep up the pressure. Even for the next map. Yaka from main. A dangerous spot for that op, especially if there's a swing. And a little bit of a connection failure there from the cam, but it doesn't matter. Back on towards the round. Permita from the lobby. Wants to go for the push here. Hot will be going first. After that, it's going to be the quickie. Perfect kills coming in again. It's going to be Mr. Spire coming out with a double kill towards the side. Mio and Marco, they do keep it a little bit alive, though. But it's going to be Tinkus off to take down one Amy. With that, oh, Nate still alive with that one HP. It's going to be enough. Amy at the end with both of those kills. Closes it down and Permita grinding out the victory on Nuke. It took a little while, losing out the first half. Coming out in a way that I'm not entirely sure if it's even legal, but it works out. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of a break, hop into map number two in about a second. I think it was ancient, if I still remember it correctly. We're going to take a break, hop back in when we're ready, and let's see who's going to take map number two.
What's up guys and welcome back to the stream. We're going to be hopping into a little place called the Ancient as we're going to be waiting for the match to start. Or the map to start. It is going to be Permita on the CD side and Virtus Pro Angels, well they're going to be on a little attacking side here. Losing the first map, coming close to winning it on their enemy's map. It could have been the best way to start off the best of three, but it just didn't happen. So, now we're gonna just be happy with the Glocks here. Oh, Mr. Fire. Mirrors is... I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that. Mirrors? Fire. Okay. Gets just one more. That's gonna be a more with one. Amy from the corner actually catches down. Akia Nora. That's gonna be a quick trade for Mio. He's up from the red. Tries to battle it on. So into a one versus three. Mio has been left. Needs to go for at least a kill here. Especially if she wants to go for that bomb. Needs to get a little bit more. Gaba. Off angle, waiting for the players to spring in. Takes a little while for her to get that first shot. Gets the player from the behind, but Tinka keeps it possible. Comes out with the duel. And it gets a little bit expensive, thinking about the manpower being used on that one. But it doesn't matter. As long as they win the round, that's going to be the most important thing in this round. Pistol goes for them. We're already seeing a buy, just a single M4. For the side of the CTs. And off we go. Not a single move being made, meanwhile more. Will be the only one to lead the charge with the A side. Nice thing coming in even through the smoke. Mio catches down Amib. Kill for her. Tinka already shook just a little bit by that clock. Doesn't really hit the player that badly. Holds it down. Gives her the space she needs. Nice shot. Tinka drops down one of the players. And a one to one trade, but from the lane it was just a little bit more expensive in a way. And P9 will be caught and brought back to the round. That's going to be Margot. Any of the players on the CT side challenging her has to be a little bit more careful. And while Ayaka will be shooting the group here. Oh, doesn't catch the player from the corner. And Tinka comes out with a couple of kills from that M4. Another shot coming in for the MP9. And the bomb top is planted. Tinka will sound the A side pretty well. 4k for her. Of course, these are just clocks, but it doesn't matter. As long as they don't get the plant. It's going to be less money for the second round and even for the upcoming rounds later down the uh, line. Just a couple hundred bucks. Usually they start to stack up. And off to a new round we go. Towards the double doors here. Some space is being gained for the CT side. Permita. The underdogs looking a little bit more favorites at the moment. And it's going to be this A side fight that tells the story for a map like this. I can't know very close towards the double. Uh, Donut with the screen coming out, gets the first kill, does a little bit damage towards more. could have gone for the double. Meanwhile, Mio does drop down fire and that's gonna be Gabba with the trade. So a 3 versus 3 has been left for the side of Permita to try to get through. There's still alert coming in from middle. Alert the steps coming in from Amy. She has to be careful of it. And it's going to be Ayaka to go through the smoke, already gaining the access towards the side. They could actually smoke down. Smoke out the bomb and go for the nice pick coming in from Ayaka. Just sees a pixel of the player. Drops down Amy and Gaba. Through the smoke, a little bit of a spray. It's just not that much HP to play around with. Just a single bullet catches her. The idea was correct, but the play wasn't. Permita already giving around for the side of Virtus Pro Angels. And looking at the money, they don't have that much to play around with. They're gonna go for the buy here. 
It's going to be the MP9s to come out on the majority. But to stop Virtus Pro Angels, especially from coming back and taking down the lead, I kind of need to win this round. After this, it's just going to be a save. Nothing else left. Waiting with that utility. Couple of smokes being dropped, another one. Nate threw it. Not catching a single player. Back here, Nora. Does catch Amib. Let's have to the face. A clean one as well. Pavla drops down again, Nora. Okay, one shot of loot for them, but Quas seems to be working at the one MP9 just doesn't catch a player, that's the problem. Fire did her job, it's going to be the MP9. Stumble just a little bit from the cave, Tinka very close to the angle, Marco might actually walk into this crosshair here. Oh, catches and gets away from that corner just as the timing gets better. Off flash behind her, go for the kill, gets the first one. Makes it a little bit harder for the opera to hold down the line of Yaka. One versus two. Both the players literally just waiting for a little bit of damage being done. Ayaka, 32 hates peeping left. The push coming in that 8k. Doesn't survive for the next round. At least it's going to be picked up. And that's exactly what's... No, it's going to be the up. Permita, they get away with the round here. Or not. Wait a minute. <laughs> We cut off the screen at the worst possible timing. They didn't have the kits, but didn't they have enough time? Are we going to see that replay again? I think they had enough time. I'm not understanding what happened on that round right there. I really need to see that again. that spot again. So I went for the double push here. Already B side of being lost. Look at this. A quick round this time around. Five seconds to play around with. Already Mio catching up one of the players through the smoke. Can actually go for the investment for a round like this. Oh yeah, look at that. Not enough time. It was literally half a second. They could have gone for the defeat in the previous round. Moving unfortunate for me that did the work. Just couldn't come out with a round. Saving these weapons. The op for the next round could be enough. Especially dropping one of the players. The problem is that it's behind. Or in between. Everybody is not going to be the best thing to be at. So Virtus Pro. They bring that off for the next round. Get a hold of it again. Quick push from middle, has to be careful of that smoke, already laying control. For the side of Permita, but AMR. Shoot the smoke, cat the south, base their fire. And here we go. This is. Fire already going down. Margo. Get your shot off here. Perfect timing for that peak. Especially pushing back up. Both of the players leaving that spot. Bring it back to a 4 versus 4. And a 
not a fight. That leaves it squared. Three versus three. Push coming on towards the side. It's going to be for the cave. Smoke for the edge there. And Neo. You know, one to plant a bomb. Through the smoke. Just a couple of tags. Doesn't really do that much damage. Warns her that they know. And the place coming in from the back lines, Pablo could be at the perfect timing here. Especially catching off Aki and Nora. I'm not entirely sure what she was actually holding at that spot. Tinka gets the first shot from the side as well. That's gonna be a Yanka. Only with the off to leave it. Catches one of those kills, but she has to get away. In the shot through this. Oh, it was so very close too, but the bomb gets defused before it even comes to that. And again, a tie. Permita still fighting for Ancient. Quick little time out there to talk about whatever happened. And the retake attempt seems to be working out for the side of Permita pretty well. So getting back to those fights hasn't been a problem. It's giving the spike to them. Seems to be the issue here. go cross her placements coming in soon as we are going to be seeing those swings to either of the sides through the soft wall a couple of shots actually lands on the mr fire mrs fire uh, famas can't really reply to it especially with the same damage so amy all top towards the cave and that's gonna be mio Still thinking that she knows about the left connection. Oh, turns away the perfect timing. Amy goes for the swing. Could actually bring that AK for her. The quick pickup could be the way to start off a game like this. Already winning the first fight. For the cave. Doesn't really land out the bullet. It's going to be the AK to catch that headshot. This is fire. Beautiful shot. It's going to be the double kill coming in for Tinka to close down the A side. We saw this before. From the quads. Ayanka doesn't land the shot. Oh, and an A smoke. Molotov coming into play as well. Clips the little monster. Amy takes down Marco. Ayanka finally grabs a shot. Gets the second one as well. Has to go for a 4K. But it's not going to happen. That's all she wrote. And Permita, they get the lead. It gets a little bit sloppy there at the end. But it works out. And then Molotov's coming into play. Only if she won that first duel towards the ruins. The rest of her team could have focused on other things. Good play coming in for her as well. That was a nice shot coming in from the AK. I'm not entirely sure if she was actually aiming for that or if she flicked. But it lands on the player. That's the important part of it. Time out to talk about whatever happening. What's about to be the best play for our next round? Really dumb towards middle. Tinka taking out a more at the start. A bit of a cheaper round for the side uh, 
T's at this point. Investing so many, so much. Red Brown's Pablo catches a nice headshot onto Akianora. She's the shadows. Oh, that has to be the call out. They know that they know. Pichu 50 tries to go for a shot there. Neo doesn't really catch any of the players. Amy. Well, the Finnish player seems to be on point today. Again, making sure that the lane keeps pressured. Asimov on a P250. And another one, too. I think those are some Virtus Pro logos. All right. Hey, hey. Headshot for Tinka. Nice shot for her. And she's still holding. Oh, for the second one as well. Of course, a 3K for a round like this. Easy peasy lemon skeezy. And some smiling faces on the screen at the same. I like to see that. Enjoying the game that they're playing at the moment. Permita looking very good here on his best of three. First map came very close. 13 to 16. Permita, they keep their heads cold on their own map pick. But Ancient seems to be starting off very well here on the CT side. But it seemed like the T side, even on Nuke, seemed to be the problem. So let's see if it keeps being a bit of an issue here. True to soft wall oh, again, just a little bit damage to be done, Tinka. This time around doesn't eat more of him. It's going to be the lower. Oh, turns away the first possible time. Tinka. It's <sighs> dropped down quickly. That's gonna be Gabby. Gabby at least the kill here. Amy comes along with Mio. Keeps the numbers right. Sorry, my microphone got off there. True to soft wall, just a little bit damaged, but I can't know where I'm still alive. Behind a Molotov, Amy, the only thing she has to be careful is about the lane and gets behind the corner here. That's going to be a beautiful shot for her. A man advantage. And they know that they're not going to go for the B play anymore. And this is going to be a very long rotation towards the A side. So they could actually go for the CT hold here. They still have Amy to gain the information, especially from the lane, to hold down that middle. Flash towards the CT, cover it off Ayanka. Barely gets to the side. That off doesn't really land. And I can't Nora make sure that the middle keeps fair. That's gonna be Mrs. Fire from the back line of that box to win out the first shot. Close to the CT angle. A little bit scoped in towards the donut, but Mr. Fire doesn't really. She's not aware of the right side pick of that box. So focused. On the player to swing from the left. And finally around that lands for the side of VP after trying a couple of times here. They're still around away from just a tie. And looking at the money, Permita they can buy easily to this round. It's not going to be perfect in a way, so we're not going to see every single utility, but we'll see M4s and Ops. Especially if they want to win a round like this, it's going to be enough to do it. Tinka from Donut still playing this mid sp uh, spot very well. There hasn't been a problem for them on middle so far. And the nade bounces back. And they nade again. A little bit off the marker there. The other side of this cave, Cheetah. It's going to be Amy holding similar corners again and again and again. And Mio has to be very careful how she wants to proceed to this fight. Here towards the lane, ready with the utility. It's going to be the pop flash to worst cave. Donut will be flashed out. Nobody's there to actually receive it though. Amy. First fight, the deal shot to the face. Goes for the second one. It gets a little bit sloppy and close towards the lane. Gabba has to be very careful now. She's going to be chased down. Oh, gets cut off. And that gets a little bit too close to comfort. That could have been at least a one-to-one -one trade. Right now, Permita. Woman down. And more pushing on towards the A side, low HP. The idea here is to make a little bit noise. Push coming in towards the cheat at the same time. Mr. Fire, that's a nice frag there. Towards the lane, goes for a little bit too much. Gets taken down by Ayaka. Meanwhile, from the donut, Tinka brings it back to a true versus true. And now it's everybody fully built it up from the close corner. Oh, gets through it. Oh, and that's oh, tax the player towards the beat as well. 
Will be down if being done. Has to be careful off the long. Oh, both of the players starting to miss some shots, but finally, the second shot lands. Tinka goes for the spread here. Gets the first player. Oh, Tinka is not aware of the player being the long, but Ayaka misses the up shot. And Tinka clutches it to a six. So many kills already here. I think she has like close to 20 here. And I have to say, Virtus Pro, they kind of dropped the ball towards Long. That was a perfect opportunity to win a round again. Look at this. 19 kills. A kill away from a double. 10. We call it 20. <laughs> double 10. That's one way to call out numbers. Nerv hair. I think you meant nerf. She's playing pretty well on right now. Let's see if she can keep it up. Okay, that's gonna be the pop flash to make sure that anybody wants to push from the B side and make sure they're gonna be sticking into it. Inside of it. Catch behind a pillar. Marco drops down. This is fire. That's going to be the one flash needed to get a little bit more control, but shoots his her own teammate, but still gets one more kill. Okay, double kill for Margo. At least keep the numbers alive. That's going to be the bomb planet. And Fermita, as they lose full B side control, Pavla. The best she could do is maybe try to save that off for the next round. Bird is pro. Finally stepping in with a round here. And a good one, too. Finally stepping in with a chain, I meant. And a good round, yeah. Okay, that was a pretty straightforward round. Mio. Not entirely sure if that step was heard. An op shot here through the cracks. Spotting up over the shadow. Understands where the push comes in. Uh, that's at least the kill for her. And a save of that off for the next round. The literal lifeline coming in to battle against the, uh, the tie here. Look at this. Oh, my keyboard at the moment is so, so disgusting. I need to clean this one up. Okay. Kill the dump at the start. That's gonna be Mr. Fire. With that 5-7 to get in towards that donut. Mio wielding that AK. Maybe that MP9 could get a little bit closer towards the pit. If she gets this first kill on top of it. And the lower kill coming in. Spots the player from the lower angle. The MP9 coming into play. Marco does get the kill, but it's going to be a quick trade from Pavla. Not a bad one as well. A uh, woman advantage, I want to call it that. At the moment in the round, it's still enough players for the side of Virtus Pro to breach into either of the sides. Of course, this is going to play out for the side of Permita just a little bit more. Amy spotting out the players towards middle. Doesn't see any fun, uh, anyone towards the lane. This could be the call out for the A side push, especially with a player very deep into it. Tinka has an exceptional spot here. Could come out with two kills, especially with that camera. It's not careful. She's gonna fall down the first one. Is she gonna be looping towards the low? No, Ayanka with the perfect timing there. And just one of the players mollies down the box to make sure that nobody's going to be lurking behind of it. And a lot of utility being dumped to make sure that that A side is clean, but that's not the idea. It's going to be a scrap. It's a spring. It got off the first player, but five seven gets a little bit too sloppy, and both of them go down without doing. Barely any of the damage. And a beautiful shot down coming in from Amor. Three kills at the end to win that round. And they bring it back to a tie. Virtus Pro on their own map pick. Starting to look a little bit more alive in a way. This definitely could have been a 7-5. Here we are, look at that. 
That's 3k. Triple kill. Three kills in a round like that. A couple of seconds for the teams to talk. What seems to be the best pistol strat here in the second half? USBs and locks against each other. Are we going to see some duelies? Okay. Smoke's being dropped for Akian Nora. Kit's being bought for more. So we're not going to reproduce, uh, reproduce that one mistake from the earlier round. It's just going to be P2000s. USPs. And a lot of armor, except the more. The same thing goes for the T side. So two. A nice catch from Akianora. Second one coming in too, shutting down the line from long. Good shots coming in. They actually do tack her down, but a more from the cross gets just one. It's gonna be Kappa to drop down and from the defense of that cave. A more comes out with three kills. Virtus Pro Angels, they take the lead. A round lead. And now if they could chain a couple of rounds together until they get that first buy, that could be enough, especially with Permita not planning a bomb that round. We do see a singular Tech-9. It's going to be sold for a Deagle, I guess. Yeah, okay. A big weapon. Utility... That's going to be a molly to make sure that the pit is burning. If they want to go for a rush on that B side. Through the flares, they have to go. Just a plan for a round like this could be enough. If they could actually catch Margo, get a little bit of control towards the line quickly. Could be a good start for a round like this, but oh me, oh with Margo. This is just a shooting gallery at this point. They do get a kill, but it gets traded quickly. Kills will be split between Mio and Margo. And off we go for a new round. Most they go. Control of that lane is important. There's going to be the single flash to make sure. Low angle will be held. And goes for the first and the second kill. Amy. Oh god. Just leading the charge towards that B side. Gets the entries. Everything at the singular time. But Anyaka, she has to win this first fight towards the line. That gives them just a little bit more space to maybe think about for the retake. Goes for the second kill as well on Pavla. The only player, AMR, actually threw the smoke drops down Amy. How did this go so quickly? South. Misses fire, being smoked out of that pit. Good sm uh, lurk in between that uh, smoke here. That's gonna be the sm second smoke to make sure that the cave will be held down. Through the smoke tries to go for the timing here. It doesn't really work out from the pit. But it gets a little bit questionable. They find the kill. And that is going to be the round. Even if Tinka gets every single kill after that, it's just a little bit too late. Virtus Pro Angels, they win the round. It gets expensive, but the round is important. They do win it. Hear the time on the music playing on the background.
off and around we go. Dumps coming in across the server. Already coming on towards the sides. Nice kills coming in. These rifles are working for the side of Permita so well. Even if they're actually losing some of these rounds. It's going to be the entries towards the sites, Ayanka. With that nade to do a little bit of work, gets his dad. Oh, that uh, nade does drop down Gappa from the back lines. But she gets cut off with the nade on her hands. Two versus two. Pavla very low on HP. They still get that ASA control. Clear in middle. Still. Akianora. Bamboozled towards that B side. With our rotation. And the bomb will be planted. They have to be careful of the bulb pushes. One is coming in from that A main. Showing a little bit of a shadow here. Both of the players playing it from the donut. It's going to be planted for them. They need to go for something insane here. <clears throat> First push is going to be the smoke to drop in in front of the donut. I can't know how. Through the smoke, they make sure that they form an estate. Do a little bit damage through the smoke. They have to go. And they are going to be letting it off. Oh, the Glock comes into play. Pavla gets that kill, but through the smoke. Two seconds left. And an easy kill for Amy. Even if she blows up. It's going to be funneling around for the side of Permita. 7 to 9. And you can see some murky faces over here. They knew how close that was. Especially that could have been around to almost seal the turn map. So close on some of these rounds. The entries has been working pretty well. The side pushes. Then also the retakes coming in from both of the sides. Just again and again and again. I mean, why is my, oh, my jewelry got stuck on my microphone? <laughs> Sorry, boys. And yeah. Most of these situations, it's not being the problem that they don't they don't really go for any plays. It's the holds after the plays has been mostly where it goes down. So after a new try, I guess. Still on the T side, breaking down that economy. Virtus Pro Angels, they have to save for around here. It's going to be Gabba from the lane to hold down the pit. Whatever is going to be pushing off from the middle as well. Tinkas helping her out here just a little bit. They have that in crossfire. So some good holds coming in. Those USBs. They have to work a little bit to surprise any of the players right now. I'm playing a couple of seconds off the clock at the start. A good way to make sure. That around like this won't be thrown away. Push for the middle behind the smoke. A young cop still holding it. It's mostly a B side stack at this point. Only with a player left towards that red. And misses. Fire is going to be keeping an eye on it. Crosshairs throughout. Oh no, that's going to be the. This was pretty much what I was. Afraid of the most. That I didn't really see that she had a Zeus, but that USP from the close range is gonna get a kill again. Some of these shots coming in, but they do win the majority of the fights here. It gets a little bit too close to comfort, but it doesn't matter. Permita, they win it anyway. That explosion towards the B side works out perfectly. They lose a couple of weapons, but that's not the end of the world. Eight to nine, just a round away. And looking at the economy from the side of Virtus Pro, even if they can buy, the problem here is that it's not looking good. They could go for the M4 buy. They're not going to have a lot of utility to play, uh, play around with, especially for Margo. She's not going to own anything, so it's going to be a half buy. And Permita, they could actually take this to a 9 to 9. And on the second buy, Virtus Pro Angels, they're not going to look that empty. So they go for a full buy and they lose that round. That's going to be a little bit of a problem. At that point, Permita, they will have their 10. Gaba and Tinka, they start off the round with a couple of kills here. That's going to be Mio only with a P250 shot. Definitely not enough to win the round. And here we are, Pavla. Close to the lamp. And Margo, I'm not sure if she's got it now. But Shadow goes for the shot on towards Mrs. Fire. 
Let's drop down, and the singular weapon will be fun for Mio. That's a good grab. 8k for the next round. That's at least going to be something. And the player with the most money could drop that up if they want to secure some of the money. They should have enough to buy it anyways. This double kill can win for Mio. Oh, loses the weapon at the last possible second. Oh, that doesn't feel good. And just look at this. Finally, a buy. And the M4s and that one singular op coming into play. Look at the money. If every single weapon of this, the CT side gets wiped out, that's just gotta be a second uh, save. Or they could go for the MP9s, but that's pretty much the song of the end. Look at this, through the smoke they go. Quick utility at the start. Keeps the CT side on us towards that A side. And... Both coming in from that long cross. They do actually win the first fight against Margo. That's gonna be a nice catch. Pavla starts off with the second one as well from the long. They make this happen easily. A triple kill to start it off. Two for the side of Gaba and a triple without losing a player. Permita. This was exactly what I was talking about. If that replay keeps working again and again and again, especially looking at the economy at the moment from the side of the VP, this is not gonna work out well for the defense. And they definitely should go for the hunt now. There's not enough money to buy in for the next round. AMR. Amor drops down, misses fire. But they're on to them. Just look at the reactions across the map. They're going for the hunt. Only if they get one more weapon, that's going to be enough to destroy the economy. We're going to see a lot of shotguns and SMGs in the next round. Terrorists win. Oh, this is getting very close now. 10 on the board, Virtus Pro Angels. Scrapping whatever they can. They can actually drop those two weapons for a good buy. But again, that is going to leave the bank empty. And they're not even going to go for it. Look at this. Okay, it's going to be a double rifle with Mio investing a little bit. And a Deagle and a 5-7 on Ayanka and Margo without Kevlar. Okay, this is something that I've seen before. Hopefully it works. Where does Pro Angels made it out? Bullied out of that corner. Still holding it strong though. Tinka from the lane. Make sure that anybody who wants to actually push from the cave has to go through her. Nice peek coming in for her. Oh, looks that up. Clears the second angle as well. Amib. Second one on the line. Anyone who wants to go for the fight, it's going to be Marco. Molly out of that corner. And oh, that works out perfectly. A tap to the face. AK finds the shot. And this is already a very chaotic round for the side of Virtus Pro Angels, especially with the push coming in from the pit. A single tap to the face. That spray, that burst. On point and a more with Akianora. Not a single step coming in from those M4s. Every single time. They go for that A-side stack. It's going to be a B-side play. And what's been working out so well for the side of Permita as well is that they keep faking out that A-side as well. Uh, they keep playing towards that A-side every now and then, which makes them think that my belief, maybe finally it's going to be an A-side play. But no! Where is Pro? They're getting bamboozled. And Permita, well... Get prepared to post a victory towards your social medias because this isn't that far off. Looking at some of these gun rounds, it's been working out for the side of the teeth so well. Every single fight, every single duel towards that B side, easy. So far, the only way to come back into this one is for Virtus Pro to wake up. Maybe even start to nade that pit at the perfect timing. Of course. As they keep changing the rhythm, that's going to be the problem.
and off we go. Just a little bit of a time out here to talk about what possible changes they can go for a round. The weapons being swept. Switch the back and forward, back and forward. Technical pause, something's happening at the moment, so we're just waiting for it to be resolved. Players getting ready, readying up here. It's good to be active, even when there's a pause to talk about stuff. Keep that mind active. Especially if there's going to be some kind of a rush. Maybe a rush could be a good way to start it off after the timeout. Somebody reached defense level 90, combat level 121. Ooh, congratulations, Mac Iron Spoon. <clears throat> And off we go. All top towards that top middle. Same way to make sure that nobody's going to be pretty much running through it. So, even a deeper smoke there. A lot of utility at the start to make sure nobody's going to be taking that mid control, but it hasn't really happened so far. Permita, they mostly played off from that B double doors and lane. So, that's a lot of utility to spend at the start for nothing. Coming in from the pit again, it seems to be the B side. Three players holding it down this time around. Those flashes are going to be perfect. The player from the close wall, very flat. But it's going to be working out for the CT side for once. But Tinka comes out with a double kill. That's going to be Ayanka from the long with that off to hold it down. Two versus three. And even the right side has been held. Mrs. Fire can go for the peak behind that pillar. If she doesn't want to be taken down, that smoke could cover up enough. Nice stayed on top of her and do a little bit of damage there. And the retake steps in. Tinka has to get into a little bit of a better spot. That flash towards the long. Ayanka could be cut off. Quickscope comes in and works out perfectly. And from the cave, they finally find something that works out. Virtus Pro Angels. They get their tent. For the start of that push, it looked like most of the players on both sides were flashed off. For a little moment there, it looked like... Permita, we're going to go for the same play again and again and again. But this time around, we're just pro. They did come up with the important kills that they needed. Okay. A good time for them to think about what's about to happen next. Let's go Permita. Smiling heart emoji. Camera cuts off for Mrs. Fire. Internet connection seems to be the problem here. If I'm correct. It's still kind of sad that across the world we haven't still figured out connection. Maybe in the future it will be like the next technical leap for Americans and uh, people from the Europe to play against each other. That would be so cool. <clears throat> that could be so cool. All right, well, behind the lane seems to be the same idea, the same groove. If it works, don't fix it. Some around they're gonna have a couple of players towards that middle and it seems like Virtus Pro they did learn from the last round but the problem is this time around Permita they are going to be pushing towards that middle smoke for the donut nice couple of flashes coming back there I'm gonna burn towards the red to make sure anybody behind that smoke he's going to be grilled in a way the bomb still committed towards that B side the B side explosion seems to be the way that smoke 
Make sure that nobody's going to be pushing out yet. Minute being left on the board to talk about. Pavla with that op. Working out so well so far. Been doing a lot of work here. And it's going to be the AKs from the pit to spring out. Even a nade again. Marco gets tagged. Very low on HP. Has to be very careful in this round. If they decide to go for the B swing now. It's going to be a lot weaker from the last time. Smoke's landing, the flash comes out right now. The timings are going to be perfect. And Ayanka behind that smoke, she can't do anything. That burn takes care of her. They still go for the dark spot. A good straight on towards the side. Neo gets one, but it's going to be Amy. The Finnish player to actually take the kill that's needed. A man advantage goes for the side of Permita. And now it's going to be about the holds. B side seems to be the way to go again. The bomb planet, Amor. Drops down Kaba. And it's going to be Pavla. She has to stay awake here. A shot. Miller kill is going to be enough. Ayaka drops down, misses fire. The shot of the lamp, but the second one does. Amy comes out with one as well. And it's between the cross. Amor goes for the kill on towards the cave. But it's not going to be enough. Fights off with the bomb. And that ops takes out the player. And that is going to be the map point. On Virtus Pro's map pick, Permita bring it to a 12. Look at this, the execution, the place, everything working out at the perfect timing. And I have to say, the utility usage from the side of Permita on those B executions keep working out every time. It doesn't matter. Even if they have a five man stack there, it doesn't matter if you can't see them. So well played so far. And even pressuring that middle to make it look like maybe they're going to go for a mid-execution towards that A-side. To stretch the defense from the side of Erdus Pro. Permita. I have to say, a good strat from the start till the end. 12 on the board. Two rounds for Erdus Pro to catch up. If they lose this round, they're going to be out of money here. Top shot from that mid doesn't really connect to anybody. But this one does. Welcome, Ayanka. Standing in the middle of nothing. Pavla really doing a very good job on that op, like I kept saying. Two rounds on the two kills on that previous round. This time around gets one at the start. Close to that 20 bomb as well. Tune got 31 on the screen. That's almost a KD of three. Here we are, off to a new try. This is fire. Very good understanding where the player could be actually posting at the moment. Aki and Nora will be dropped out from that A defense. The push coming in from the pit slowly and slowly. They open up the smoke with that nade. And behind a pillar, even inside of it, it doesn't matter. Gamma comes up with the first kill. That's gonna be Neo to hold down the lines. Drops, misses fire. But it's definitely not going to be enough. They need a little bit more. The last two players against four, and they need to activate, but it's going to be Pavla to take down the player from the back line. 20 kills on the board, and even behind the smoke, Neo has been spotted. And a very good play coming in for the side of Permita to take out the last round. And they win their best of three, two to zero. New came a little bit closer, he went for an overtime, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. As long as you win, that is going to be enough. Overtime on your own map pick, but to be honest, doing a very good job on their enemy's map pick here on Ancient. And a good way to shut it down. Permita, they win their lower bracket. Step forward, and we're going to be hopping into the next game right now. So that's going to be on the upper bracket. So we're going to take a little bit of a uh, break over here. But we're going to, of course, say congratulations for the side of Permita. Good job. Maybe post that over at Twitter for uh, their play. And meanwhile, for the side of Virtus Pro, well, they tried. It didn't work out this time around. Hopefully, we'll see them on the next season. And we'll see if we're going to even have a next season. I'm not entirely sure yet. So let's take a little bit of a break, hop into the second best of three. And that is going to be... I'm not entirely sure what that team... I think that was Pigeons versus Astralis. So we'll see that in about a second.
What's up and welcome back to the stream, guys. Hopefully you're having a good time. As the first game comes to a quick 2-0, it's going to be Permita to win their map pick. And after that, a little bit of uh, overtime, we get into Ancient and they even destroy Virtus Pro on their own map pick as well. So that's a quick 2-0 for them. And we're going to be hopping into the second best of three for today, which will be Pigeons going against the Stralis women team. So this is going to be a new one for me entirely. But never even heard about this team. So it's going to be Zaz, Anna, Tori and 23 and Kate cat cat that's what you want to call her and we are going to be hopping into the astralis women's side it's going to be aurora anya josephine ismo and marie ismo is a man name here in finland which is kind of funny so isabelle Ferslev. i'm not sure if it comes from some kind of a combination from their name but that's what it is. It's going to be Mirage and Anubis being banned at the start. After that, we're going to be hopping into a vertical. And an overpass will be played for the second map. If we need it, it's going to be Inferno. I've been waiting for an Inferno for a long while now. One of the maps that I actually want to see in a pro scene the most. But it seems like most of the teams don't really want to play the map. So it is what it is. But we are going to be hopping into entirely new maps. So we're not going to see the Nuke and uh, Ancients to come into tuition again. It's going to be Vertigo and Aura Pass at the start. And like I said, if we needed Inferno, and looking at the bands coming in at the start, it seems like Pigeons decided to leave. Or actually, uh, they decided to leave uh, Inferno as the last pick if it's needed. So maybe they feel a little bit comfortable over here. I've uh, seen some of the names from the side of Pigeon before. I've actually even watched some of these female tournaments. So some of the names have some um, experience from the world already. Nice shot. I'm coming in from Zaz. It's going to be the double kill to need it. But they do lose the majority of the players here on the push. Versus two Tori. This is one before they lose the side, and that is going to be a nice trade coming in from Josephine. Tori gets two at the end, but she needs a three, and that's exactly what she's gonna get. A triple kill to shut it down. Not a bad round at all. For the pigeons. Alright. Not a bad way. After three times, I can ask something normal. <laughs> uh, I'm not entirely sure. I didn't actually check what bracket this was. I was just so, I think, a loser from any of these games today. Or if this, this, this is the upper bracket, if I'm not entirely sure. Let me actually check this one out. No, this is pretty much the seating. Yeah, so the loser of this one will not be done. All right. So the only elimination game was Permita. W versus uh, BP Angels, and the second elimination game will be Navi Javelins versus Spirit Female. That's gonna be interesting. Hopefully, I'm correct. Yeah, I think I am. All right, starts off. With a death here, that's gonna be Ismo to get the first shot. Cat, just a quick trade on the other player. They do get the bomb down for a round like this. This is W. We do a little bit more damage towards the economy, but it's going to be Tori with Zaz to get the last few kills that they need to shut it down. And off we go for a new one. Two rounds in a row. Looking pretty good on their enemy's map pick. Can we get a similar storyline from the first game? Is this possible? Is this going to happen? Maybe calling it out just a little bit too quick. So let's keep an eye on them. Deckman's coming into play, fully blinded, but from the close range, Ismo wins the fight against Zaz. Zaz doesn't get anything else except that one. From the back line, 20 already with the push, grabs down Aurora, and from the sandbag story, doing a very good job springing out of that position. 
close to the scaffolding, but will get damaged. Oh, finds the third kill as well. A triple for her. A nice way to shut it down. Three to nothing. Absolutely nothing. Off we go. He's being brought into the play over here. Bounces off the floor. Astralis W, they know to stay away from that corner at the start. It's gonna be Aurora behind the smoke. Trying to hold down the line. So nice bounce in Nate. Doesn't really catch anybody but Zass. Very close to this corner already. Can even do a very good spot here. Aurora has to be careful there, but Zass. It's the first fight. Catches the player and runs away from that Molotov too. With 5 HP, she could have gone down. If he catches her. Ori. Off of the ramp's angle, wins the second fight. That's going to be Cat and finding out Ismail as well. At the moment, Astralis, whatever they're trying to throw against the machine, it's just not working. Need place coming at the perfect timing. The trade, even if 5 HP works out so well for the Swedish player. And Josephine. From Denmark. Carry against Fodder, who's from Denmark. <laughs> oh, last lulled at that so much, but it doesn't matter. Nice shot down from the side of Pigeons. Escaping a lot, uh, staying alive with four players. It's going to be amazing for their economy, especially on the CT side. They need every single nuke and cranny of that money that they can save. And Astralis W, well, it didn't start off the way that they were wishing. Now let's see if they can turn it around here. Of course, these are just the er uh, early rounds. Still testing the waters. What a good model drop. They're going to be extending truth. Doesn't really matter. 20 comes out with three kills for a round like three. A fourth one on the table. Goes for the ace. Can she get it? No, cat! Comes out with the steal. Oh, that was very close. 4k on the board. You can see the smiles. Not a bad way to shut down the B rush. Let's go. Off we go. B side holds Anna. With the off train in the corner. Oh, catches the... Doesn't actually catch the headshot. It's married to the chest. Sometimes it makes me figure out, or wonder, if only the head is being shown. Because it hit not the head. Wait a minute, what happened over there? I got confused for a little while. But Zaster wants the shot. That's going to be the second spring coming in from Anya. For all like this, gets a double Ismo from the back lines. Gets one. But it's still a two versus two. So, somehow the control still falls to the side of the machine, especially with the push over here. And the second spray coming in from Cad gets a double as well. And it seems like we're getting multiple kills from a player again and again and again. Pigeons shutting this down 6 to 0. Astralis W on their own map pick at the moment getting absolutely spanked. This is not how you want to start your own map pick. It gets a little bit worrisome. Usually at this spot, especially when you see that first logo starting to flame up. But it's not over yet. He's small with a beautiful shot of that eagle. We can actually see the action, but I think it was true to plywood. For grazing the concrete there. Zaz gets the trade across the map. To keep the numbers alive. That's going to be Anya. We have 4 HP. And this is a buy round from the side of Astralis W. Zaz behind the box here, just trying to get as much space as you can. And that pretty much locks out the A side entirely. Even if they get the kill onto Zaz, the trade, the retake, the rotation from the CT side is going to be very close.
Now look at this. They're still going to go for the B-side push, knowing what Cat... Uh, sorry, I think it was Tweety. What she did on the uh, previous round. Off shot lands. It's going to be Anna with the mate as well. Bring in workshops. The second shot from the off, and it's going to be separate. To both of the holders. And Pitchens with seven on the board. <clears throat> okay. Starting to look a better of a round again and again and again. And there is starting to be a little bit of a problem here on the server. They're not losing that many players, which is a very good side, a uh, very good thing for the side of Pigeons. Astralis Talent, they're not even close to destroying their economy, even if they win a round. And at the problem, uh, at the moment, against the weaponry that they have, they're not even coming close. There's a little elephant there, Marie. It's a beautiful little elephant. Elefanto. I'm not entirely sure what I'm trying to say at the moment. Ooh, is that a palm tree? It was that's like a cat uh, cat scratcher during the back left of Aurora. The scenery of that house is cool. Some of these players they have pretty nice houses. Maybe I'm gonna have one someday too. All right, all right, off the round. Smokes for the scaff here. Make sure that nobody's going to be running through it. And it's going to be Marie. Leading. Sorry, it's Aurora with the op at the moment. Just holding down. And they're just packing. Everybody pushing from the Middle East. Mofun's the first kill on towards Anna. A nice entry. The real push from here from the elevator towards that A side. Zaz gets caught off. Maybe goes for a little bit too much here. Tori behind the smoke. Could cut this off. Anja with the perfect timing on the push. She goes down. Of course she doesn't. That's going to be 20. The only thing that they get on that round. Yes, the second one as well. Goes for the stretch or the ramp. Doesn't work out, Cat. With one kill on the board. For a round like this. She needs to get three. And it's going to be the Molotov for the headbox. But from the cross, Aurora shuts it down with that op. And a double kill for Ismo to start it off. Anya with one. Josefino and Aurora step in with one as well. And they win it the first round here in the first half. Took a little while, but it happened. Now the question is, can they keep it up and uh, chain a couple of rounds? Because looking at the economy from the side of Pigeons, they didn't save a single weapon from that round. They went for a full buy with utility and they still have 4k. One of the players has almost 10k Zaz. And a Zazium server. So that's going to be a problem. Astralis W, they have to win multiple rounds in a row now. Just to try to hit the economy. Close angle. It's a bit hot for Cat. Dodges the bullets. It's a little bit damaged. That Molotov is going to spread one of the players. Leaves her alone. Goes for the full spray. Doesn't get the second one, but does a lot of damage. Knows that the push is coming. Meanwhile, 20 from middle. Catches the headshot. Even gets the kill. That is going to be Ismo with the only entry so far. 20 only catching. I think that's 27 HP so far. Zaz for our back lines. Doesn't even have to step into that duel yet. Knows that the bomb has only been planted just a second ago. And 20. Trying to figure out what's going to be the best way to get in. That's going to be the flash and smoke for the side. Wait a minute, not a single flash being used yet. That's going to be the only smokes to cut off the players. Yeah, smoke's coming in from the D side as well. First shot coming in. Tori gets clopped down. Josephine gets the kill on towards Zaz with 20. The only entry towards that side. And Nana. This is the shot from that off, and the retake will not be happening. Pigeons, they lose the second round in a row, and they still can buy. Especially saving that off for the next round. Anna can drop 10k. <laughs> That's a lot of money. She can actually drop a couple of M4s and still have enough money for an op buy for the next round. This is just insane at the moment. That's what seven rounds in a CT side gives you, especially not losing a weapon every time. <clears throat> Look at this. $9,000. That is a lot of money. 72. Now the question is how many rounds do Astralis W need on the CT side to win it? The pistol seems to be kind of mandatory if they don't get any more. Meanwhile, 
This is just a fake. A lot of utility used towards the A side, but Molotov again to disperse the push, so it literally does nothing for a round like this. The chins, they read it well. So far, men drop across the map. Cat gets the shot onto East mode. That's a very good start for a round like this. Aurora from Norway. Lower down those ramps. Waiting for an opportunity with that op. And it's going to be a double fake. Nice shot from Anna. Ooh. Josephine hits the floor. Maybe showing a little bit too much skin here, but Mary got breached through the lines. Doesn't really spot a player. That could be a problem. Okay, 20. That's the player finally understand what's the play. And it's Zass from the other side of that window. It just brings into action. Gets that kill. And if she's still alive, that could have been a very good round. Or start of it. But for right now, it doesn't really work out the way that we're hoping. I think I'm going to hit the sauna today, yeah. Another kill for Cad. Here it is. Control for the third one as well. Spots the player. Dodges the bullet. And a shot to the face. Headshot. Boom diggity. A win round for the Sada Pigeons, making it an 8. This is exactly what we're talking about as Trollis W. They really need to change some of those rounds again, because now that they didn't barely lose any weapons, they have enough to buy if they lose a round again. It just keeps happening again and again and again. Push coming in, smoke gets the first kill onto Zaz. That's going to be a very good entry. Most performing player being taken out at the start. A good way to start off a round like this. And behind the sandbag, nobody's actually taking a peek over here. Tori, with the perfect timing, he's just gonna jump in here. To when he gets one, that's gonna be Anna with a kill onto Josephine. And inside the smoke, Anya waiting for her timing alone. Has to go for a 4k. Two players, one on top of Tetris, one on top of Box. Anna does have an op here, so she could actually miss the shot if she moves quickly enough. But the problem is when the smoke uh, fades away, Anya was not ready for Kat to be posting for her. And a round again on the board. 9-2. to two. One round to be played for. There's a very good possibility, looking at the, some of the gun rounds that we've seen, that Pigeons could actually take the full 10. Astralis W's own map pick. Next up, overpass. This could be a very quick game as well. It's the T side on the female tournament that we have seen with most of the issues, but of course, only seen two games so far. So maybe bitches, they're gonna show us something else. It's going to all up for the ground if they want to go through it. Of course, they're gonna dodge it. They knew that the nade spam was gonna come after that. 22 days without an incident, I guess. Even though it's 12 rounds. Hoo hoo. Close angle for Zaz. And when he wants to pop their head behind that corner, it's gonna be a salvo of bullets. Second one as well, almost goes for the third one. Does a little bit damage, but Josephine finally stops the craziness. Gets the trade. And you can just see the player spread out here. A little worse, even from short Marie. Very nice kill on the board, but it's going to be 20 <laughs> with a triple kill at the end. Even through the smoke catches two, two players. A triple kill to shut it down. And Pigeons, it seems like another Monday for them. Easy peasy lemon skeezy. Not a bad way to shut down that A side push.
This little PZ. Actually, let's keep that window open. It's getting very hot here. And now on towards a new round. What could be the play? What could be the option here? Okay, Sass. A little bit off screen at the moment. Welcome back. Twenty very focused on the screen. Winning for the first round on the second half to start. And the pistol, like I keep saying, I think they need is to start off with a very good rhythm to win that pistol round. And it's going to be the first step to victory. Meanwhile, for the side of Astralis W, well, they need the pistol just to keep their head above water. And after that, a lot of chain rounds, maybe seven, as Pigeons did. They could bring them just a little bit closer to a doable number. The problem is 10 to 2. It's going to be a very uphill struggle to start to fight back from. But it's possible. We have seen some comebacks before. We still see a lot of energy in the chat. Let's go, Cat, okay? And this is going to be it. And they do it. So, off we go. It is going to be... Just a full push coming in from the side of short. Zass will be leading this charge. That smoke will cover the entry. Seen that push before. On top of the box is already doing a little bit of damage. Oh, jumping. That's a little bit sloppy, but Zass from the back lines gets one. It's got to be Cat to drop one as well. Three kills here at the start. Only get one back. Oh, the clocks. They do a lot of damage here. It's going to be Anya staying as the last player to try to fight off the horde of pigeons trying to take off the site. <laughs> horde of pigeons. Okay. Never thought that was scary. Usually we actually throw like french fries at them on the town over there. So, pigeons. Crazy pigeons. Well, off to a new round we go. And let's see what can they actually do from here. It's definitely not over yet, but we're seeing the first signs of it. Oh, this could be a moment. Especially if none of the players are looking over here. It's gotta be just a double for a second. I thought we were gonna see a little bit more, but it doesn't matter. Marie, let's stop the push on Zaz. AK is finally stepping in. It's gonna be Marie. Three fires that corner. At this point, it doesn't even matter if they save only AKs for the next round. They have B side control. Bomb will be planted, and they're already at their map point. And this is where the problems they start. Marie. Trying to hold down that AK for the next round. People need to cope. But of course, Anna and Kat, they will be taking everything away from him. Nothing will be saved. And Astralis W. Just a couple of uh, members away from losing their own map pick. Oh no. Well, let's see what's about to happen. There's going to be the push coming in from middle. A nice control already being gained from the side of Pigeons. Oh, this is getting stagnant at the moment. Nobody's really even challenging at this point. Anya, he has to be, she has to be very careful where she's going to be walking. Zaz! Flies the head. 
Can't save it a second one. Clean shots coming in from her. And even already push coming in from the window. Oh, Mary just gonna bomb from every single corner at the same time. Tori punch a shot. That's gonna be Aurora left as the sole player. Anna makes it happen, and that is going to be a very clean sweep here on the enemy's map pick. Astralis W, they really didn't stand a chance. And I have to say, Pigeons, they absolutely stomp them on their own map pick. So we're going to be hopping into the second map. That was a very quick one, to be honest. That, I think that took like a little bit over 20 minutes. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of a break. Hop back in here when we're ready. And after that, we're going to be seeing what's about to happen on Overpass. Let's take a little break. Let's see what's happening.
Welcome back, and we're at Overpass right now. So, Vertigo was a very good map, and to be honest, I was thinking about this on a break. They, Vertigo could be... No, 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 no. Maybe that's a little bit too crazy. Maybe it's the apartment to the right here that we're watching, and it's all connected. It's on the same space. Or maybe I'm crazy, because we're getting a full push coming in towards that B-side. Nobody's actually holding it. It's a full play coming in from middle. And oh god, Pigeons, they already have majority of the controls. This is going to be a heck of a time for the side of Astralis W to try to retake it, because this is definitely not going to happen. Getting into that side is going to be hellish. Absolutely impossible. Reezy's welcome to the stream, brother. How you doing, sir? Nice shot coming in. 420, that is just going to be a mow down. Can we tree? And for a round like that, Anna stomps it to a bullet to the head. Is mo well. He's Matalas, ma. Doesn't really like that shot. And Pigeons, they gain their one. Yes. That was a little piece for the Finnish fans over here. Hey, yo. Anders B2000. Somebody likes those starting pistols. Alright, so, a beautiful round for Pigeons, but they really didn't have anybody against them on that B side so far. A couple of flashes will be, oh, just a single flash. It is a B stack this time around, so... Astral is W, they really want to go for those stacks and these Pop, that is going to be a very nice shot from Cat. Aurora, just get one with the USP. Try to smoke, taps down Tori. But getting a weapon is going to be another story. 20. Drops down one. And she has a few more to go for. If Astralis W, they're not careful with the push coming in from the five side that short. Turn around. Go for the second. Oh, it's just a little bit off. Anna. Let's hold it off at the end. <clears throat> and the USB does a little bit work. Just came in from the sauna, took some Lulu, like Ismota Laitela. Uh, I was actually thinking about maybe turning on the sauna for me today as well. I still have, uh, I'm not sure, I think it's a Stella beer. I'm trying a new brand at the moment. Very good. So, especially now that I've been very stressed with work. Literally just working every day now. And even a couple of times a day. That's going to be fun, like today. So, some relaxation at sound could be the way to go here. Alright. Boost on the other player here. Nuclear bomb goes off. And even the second one. Not really hitting any of the players. The stroll is W. They are trying to spot some of the players, but it's going to be a late round play towards that mid. Shot to the face. 20. Ooh. Ismo goes down. Salatut Elamit is over. Josephine from the back of the side holding down. And you just get the drop on to Tori. And a real push will be happening right now. 20 with a little bit of heavy HP here. Could I still go for the plate's ass. Goes for a little swing off the corner, but Mary catches her. Maria Ellen Toft Sorensen. Long name. Actually, mine is Christopher Erke Kautta Shukutu, so I think I win. And a nice spin of that knife. Meanwhile, double push from Lee from Lodge. Fresh out the first one, goes for the second one. Oh, the bullets are the ones that actually ran out. Could have gone for the triple there. Not a bad way to stop the long push. Meanwhile, it's going to be the op to try to hunt down a weapon. Cat is the only one with a little bit of HP to play around with here. Aurora spots down 20 around in a way that they just tap down most of the players. Losing only two on a round like this. Astralis W. That's a very good round. That's a very good round. We're not going to get the same absolute destruction that we saw on Vertigo. So... There might be just a little bit more leeway here for a play like this. Nades running now. 
one. That's gonna be just a bombardment coming in from both of the sides. Really hoping to hit some of the marks here. Oh, from the bathroom, spotting out the player, doesn't really get the kill. Damn, it's another full push coming in. Tori catches the player from the side. They know there's a player very close to that smoke. And true it, they go. And true it, they actually get the kill too. Cad drops down Mary from the back lines, but it's going to be East one left with 5 HP. She needs to get away from that side. And Pigeons, they're straight back on the horse here. That with Tech 9 to push in, doesn't really get the kill, doesn't matter. Gets the information where the hold is coming from. The other side of that fence will be 20. Oh, the Molotov NA Molly's coming in. Just does a point of damage. The swing coming in from the connector. Anya goes down for the whole of Tori. And the whole round goes tits up. Very nice try. A couple of good moments. When the play coming in through the smoke, the problem is she gets caught off. It gets very close to comfort from both of the sides. The swing from Tori works out so well. Grab that first kill. at the start grazing some of the players but looking at wait a minute how did they take damage did they go through their own molly i think so missed molly maybe <clears throat> long fights coming in spotting that the players they don't have a weapon so it is just a usb round another opportunity for pigeons just to widen that gap Uh, wait a minute, Cat shoots her own teammate, okay? Maybe Marie got the dink? Totally, we did hit a shot though. Nice kill to the back of the head, that's gonna be Josephine to drop one of those weapons. It's starting to look a little bit better. For the side of Astralis W, I'm not entirely sure what's happening in this round, but it seems like Pigeons... They're hunting a little bit too much... ...by themselves at the moment. A group play, play usually when they get that information that it's only USPs, but finally the numbers are starting to look a little bit better. Even spotting out the player towards the site. Going for the tap doesn't really get the heal, kill, but it's going to be enough damage to push the player off of it. Tori finally shuts it down. And what's about to happen now? I've been finding the last player, Zaz. Make sure that they're not going to lose any more weapons. Good way to hop into round number six. Time out here. To maybe talk about what's about to happen and what could be the right way to approach the second round really see the money here at the end. I think they should have enough for a buy after a full save like that. over the fence. Full push coming in towards the middle too. So, they're fighting for the fountain control. And it's going to be a trade on kills. Meanwhile, Zaz is going to get the drop onto Isma Aurora. Just a quick trade. And it's going to be a double kill. Wait, oh, no, 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 it wasn't. Actually, Tori just did a little bit damage. It's going to be Anna with that op. Get the first one, but Tori extends 
the entries towards the second player. This was a full buy round from the Sada Astralis talent. They are losing every single fight here. They had the majority of the control from middle, and after that, it just didn't work out. Okay. Beautiful round from the side of Pigeons. Almost perfect. Not far away from not losing a player. And Astralis W back to the save. Not even armor on the player. Just eagles. They are deadly. We did see a couple of kills coming in from the last round, or the previous round before that. This is exactly what we're talking about. Mary just executes Anna. It's up to the face, and it's all over. Meanwhile, <clears throat> a push coming in from the con. And just a little bit closer to Deagle finds another victim already. That's going to be Josephine to get that AK. Well, towards the side, we might be just seeing a full sweep from this Deagles. It's been a while that we've seen something like this. First corner being caught off, Zas gets a little bit damaged. Still gets that kill, gets away from it. Little shot ready for that op, doesn't really hit anything Tori. Just gets the information that should be enough. Close to the head box here. 20. Behind flower pots, just waiting for the timing. 40 seconds left on the clock. A man disadvantage. And some of the players very low on HP too. If they just go. If they just swing towards that A side perfectly, it's just going to be enough. But the problem is, if any of these deals catch a player more, oh, they're gonna fold underneath the pressure. It's just going to be the fake to pull them back towards that B side and then. Already pushing on towards the side, but Mary with the perfect timing on that peak. Crops to on 20. Utility, and it has to be a save. This is a very odd call. We've seen a couple of these rounds come in now where Pigeons, they play maybe a little bit too slowly against the Pistols, and that's the problem. Usually, Pistols, they enjoy slowing moving targets, especially when they're alone. The real oh, that is just embarrassing. That didn't happen. Let's just... Okay, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Made a play again. Usually on the weapons that they have the majority of the problems. Not that smoke. It's going to be a lot of space open, but Aurora doesn't go for the swing at the same time. That's going to be Cat. Drop down Josephine. <clears throat> Anna. Drops down Mary. Meanwhile, Aurora is the only one with the entry here on the round, but it's going to be torn to get that trade quickly. Anja. That's one, but it's still a disadvantage. That's a problem. Playing it from deficit is not going to be the way to try to change some of these rounds to get it. Zass wins the. Well, it gets a little bit close. It's a couple of bullets away. Molotov for the side, too. Show where the last player is playing from. Both have a nade for the side, but that's pretty much the utility that he had. We're gonna see the plan right now. 30 seconds left. And it's going to be reset to 40. And Joe from the head box. 39 HP. A single shot from that off is gonna be enough, especially if it hits the head. Oh god. Pigeons, they gain around again. Oh, 
on the upper bracket. Oh, these aren't even the bracket plays yet. Alright. Sweet plays coming in. Eagles again. This time around, let's see if Pigeons, they learn from their early mistakes. <clears throat> 20. Still holding down Connector Anya. Very close here. The problem is, again, a couple of players solo here. Really don't like to see this one. Holding down their individual angles here. Ops coming into play. Anybody who wants to go for the information on long uh, will be dropped quickly. And 20 is going to be left behind to lurk here towards this middle. And this is six rounds on the side of pigeons already. To win this will mean a seven for them. Oh, those deagles coming very close to action again, but it's going to be the first kill. Second one from the bathrooms. Doesn't really get the third one as well, but it doesn't matter. Aurora is part of her. Getting a little bit closer to it along with that shotgun. Could do a little bit damage, but it just doesn't land. Anja. Get one from the back lines. Meanwhile, it's already on the site. And they just absolutely destroy Ismo. And the bomb will be planted towards the CT side of that box. And Anja. Couple of fights coming in here. Doesn't stop the player in the swing. There's a lump of shot there. And it's the save for that AK for the next round. The best possible outcome is exactly this one for a round like this. Jesus. A bit of a time out here. Now to think about what's the plan. I'm looking at a brow like this. Well, it seems to be. Just fight straight on best way to go for it. Push down the monster. It's got to be Cat to catch one of them back. Wait a minute. Doesn't go for the second kill there. Maybe gets a little bit surprised that there was another player pushing. At the same exact time, 20. Drops down Mary. So that's a man at advantage again for the side of Pigeons. But from the cross, oh, and Laura misses the timing. Goes for the second one, though. It's going to be Ismo to help her out with that kill. Push coming in from 20 to drop down, and that's going to be Tori to help her out with the second one as well. A side almost open. Josephine is the only one to try to hold it down. It's going to be a shooting gallery, a bullet to the face, and Josephine heads down to worse the lower part of that hell. And the eighth round already on the board. They could go for a similar score line that we saw on Vertigo. CT defense here. Really not working out. Absolutely not a bad play. So far, working out so well. And this is kind of awesome to see. Make it happen. A 
couple of rounds here to play with. As well as doubly if they do win the last couple of rounds here. There maybe is a little bit of a chance for them to duel on again. But we saw exactly what happened on Vertigo. That was their own map pick. I was getting even a lot more closer this time around. And that it will be. The enemy on the opposition side for defense in the next half. Maybe it's more with the first and the second shot as well. Through the smoke, that play doesn't work. Okay. 20. Down Marie. Nice shot coming in from Aurora to take down that kill. And the trade's working out for the side of Astralis W on a round like this. It's just going to be leaving Anna alone. The Romanian player will be pushed from the back angles. Maybe stop shooting just a little bit too early. It doesn't matter. Josephine wins the last fight. And that is at least going to be a one round for them to play with. Okay. That's an okay round. And now off to another one. And you know. I haven't really seen a good play for any of these rounds. It's been a very slow play from Zada Bitchin so far. Not really feeling the pressure to run into any of these spots yet. And behind the tree, Josephine. Waiting for anybody to visit her towards the long. And Bitchin's are still doing the same work towards the middle. The Molotov to start off. Aurora will be the first one to get that duel. Oh, the bullet just doesn't land. It wasn't that far away, though. And a smoke towards. Then on the port off that middle. And he's smoking. Well, he gets into a little bit of a better spot. But gets one of the kills. Gets traded off immediately. Zaz. A side open, and oh, this is just not working out for them at the moment. The double boost on towards the B side doesn't work out. Josephine already on the back of lines to try to go for it. A lurk here. Drops down one of the players, but the problem is he doesn't see anything more. From the CT stairs, Anja gets dropped down. Tori, one shot. Zaz goes for the swing. Mary wins the defending fight here. That's going to be a two versus two, and they know that there's a player behind them. But now it's good to be teamwork to make the dream work. 25 seconds left on the clock while we're saying it. And the push coming outside of the close to the back there has to be a hold. It is going to be a double kill for Maria to hold it down. And she does a very good job here at the end to win the last round. So Astralis W, they do make it happen. They give them a couple of more rounds of a lifeline to play with, even if they lose the pistol round. So at least we are going to be seeing the gun rounds come into play, as long as they take care of their economy, of course. Well, look at this. Marie, the first kill from the side of the side. After that, she's going to be holding down the stairs of it, so... Now off to a new one. Tap coming in from Josephine. Pistol side is starting to work out a little bit better. Tori is still holding down the middle. Depending on what kind of a push we're going to see here. If they want to go for the bathroom stick, this could be a little bit of a... Just a tap to the face. He's Mo. Absolutely sidelines Tori. Smoke towards the line. And Anna is going to cut off the first shot. The problem is it takes a little bit too long for her to get the kill. But 20 is going to help her out with one. Anna gets one. 20 with two. And it's good to go for more on the side of Anna. Zaz from the back line steps in. And it's going to be 20. 
still alive and holding it down Anya after a push like that that worked out so well for her and for them in general at the start for some reason Zaz's webcam is on the left side I'm not entirely sure what's happening here but it is going to be Zaz to close it down and the round started off so well to get the first entry without a problem even the kill towards the bathrooms and then it all goes up to the air A bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay. Nice job coming in from stats. Drops down. Josephine, defense starting off pretty well here towards the balloon, still cutting off. Meanwhile, the main push is coming out from the long. I think that's going to be, yeah, it's already been told before. And here it is, just a cold water kill. Quad kill for the side of Zaz, making it look very easy. And this is just starting to get a little bit stagnated right now. Pigeons, they're just running away with this game. We're barely getting. Any fight from the side of Astralis W. It just keeps working again and again and again. smoke wait a minute josephine actually gets the kill back okay she gets dinged but she gets a kill for that nice spray to that and two hp will be all she's gonna play with not a bad way to stay alive in a situation like that and they can actually use her as an entry if they want to meanwhile marie this fight here wins the fight against sass that's gonna be a good one the play is very low here, and that's going to be 20 with a very good reaction to drop down Marie. And Astralis, well, at least they're fighting for a round like this. The AK seems to be working out at the moment. And what we're about to see here. going to be the place for that B side. The bomb will be committed over it. Still waiting for whatever to happen. Nice spray down. That's even going to be a triple kill for the side of Cat. Every single kill for her. That a USB at the end. A quad kill to shut down the push towards that B side. And I thought she was just going to get maybe to one or two. That's going to be the max, but no. She makes it happen. What a spray down from a single player on that B side. Doesn't even need the help from her teammate. One way to get around. Now the drop coming in towards the connector. It's going to be Anya to lead down the rush with that tech. Now, no, this name is going to be a lot. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Spray down coming in after that. That's going to be Zaz with a double. Anna helps out with one Aurora. It only gets the drop on Zaz. Mary. That tech nine. Please drops one, but it's just going to be a shutdown. The 12th round on the board. And we're very close to another 2 0. I might actually have some time to go outside today. Possibly the last one as well, looking at the buy. They still have those AKs, at least for the last round, if it's anything for them in a way, I guess. So, 
Now, if they want to come back, now's the time to do something insane. Spray through the smoke, a tap to a worse head of Joseph. This time to the left. I'm not going to reply with a kill from that AK, you smell? Make sure that Zaz doesn't push through that smoke too much. That is going to be a very good kill for them. Slow play. Most of the players pushing in from the middle. It's going to be Aurora to step in from behind. To call out at the moment. Nice shot from Anna to drop down the lead. E Smo goes down without actually even doing anything around like that. That flash is going to be perfect for Anja to at least get a kill. But the problem is that they know exactly where the push is coming from. And the majority of the manpower is coming to play here. Anna just sleeping players left and right. Corey comes out with the last two players, and that is going to be it. The shutdown from Pigeons. 13 to, I'm not even sure what it is. I think it was five. So on the first map, an absolute shutdown on their own map. It doesn't work out at all. And here on Overpass, well, it's, uh, it's as quick as it started. Uh, it's just, it's over. <laughs> Very quickly. So... I actually have a little bit of time to head outside, so thank you for that, Pigeons, and congratulations for winning your own game here on Group A. So on the upper bracket, they are already qualified, so a few claps over here. And we are going to be seeing another game from Astralis W, so they're not out of the tournament, they just fall to the lower bracket, but they're going to go against Permedia W. Meanwhile, Virtus Pro, well, for today, from the Group A, they are going to be going back well, they're not going to go back home. They're pretty much playing from home at the moment, but it is what it is. So it's off. It's over for me today. I was your caster and your host. Hopefully you had a good time. And like I said, I'm going to head outside. Have a good time. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.